Hi, and welcome to this Google Classroom tutorial on how to create a file cabinet with, within Google Classroom. So this is a question I've received a lot, especially for those that have historically used a file cabinet within the classic Google Sites or in Canvas, and now you're starting to migrate over to Google Classroom and you're trying to figure out how to bring over some of the functions you really enjoyed in other platforms to this new platform. So the quick answer is that there is no file cabinet function in Google Classroom. So I have spent some time really thinking about how I can create that function in a user-friendly way. So most recently, as in last year, I experimented with creating a topic called year-long course resources. So if I click that topic, that will bring me to all of the documents that I posted, um, a book sign out, a tone words list, my syllabus, um, how to find me. So this is my schedule, um, our class assignment calendar. You can see that all of these posts for year long resources are materials posts. Um, and that has worked out okay. Um, for whatever reason, the year long course resources are, is way at the bottom. So I would, um, preferably put that at the top, you know, I'd keep moving that topic, move, move that topic up higher and just keep moving it up higher so that it's closest to the top so that these resources are actually used. Um, you can see you can also drag it up should you wish. Um, so that, like I said, that has worked out okay, but I think the system I'm going to utilize this year will make it even better. Um, so here's my plan. Here's um, the beginning stages of a Google Classroom for my American Literature course this year. I will create a topic called American Lit Resources File Cabinet. And within that topic, I'm going to link to a folder. So I'm going to head over to my Google Drive and in my American Lit Google Drive folder, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And everything's been really slow today for whatever reason. I will name that folder Amlet the same title essentially, year long resources. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and create. So once that assignment, that folder has been created, I'm gonna go ahead and open that assignment and start populating files. So I'm gonna do a file upload and I'll select these documents. So three documents are getting uploaded all at the same time. Perfect. Now I need to check permissions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my share function for that folder. And the sharing functions have changed. So I'm going to go and click this link first. And I want to make sure that anyone in this group with this link can view the documents. Okay, so if you're a member of Westwood Public Schools and you have access to this link, you're gonna have access to all of the contents in that folder. So I'm gonna copy that link. I'm gonna select done. I'm gonna go back over to classroom, go back over to my American Lit Resources file cabinet topic I'm going to create a materials assignment. I'm 
going to make sure that this topic goes into the file cabinet topic. I'm going to add now because it's a whole folder, I'm going to add it via a link, the link that I just copied. And to show you why I did that, if I were to add directly from Google Drive, you can only add individual documents. You can't add a whole folder from the Drive option. Um, you know, a single file you can insert, but you do not get that insert function when you select a whole folder. So the workaround is by linking the folders link to the materials assignment. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and post and there it is. So if I click here, you have access to the folder, all of the year long resources that you can continuously add to throughout the year. And when the student opens it, um, you can, you know, teach them if they're looking, you know, I like to keep the, you know, this type of folder in alphabetical order just to help with the location of the documents. Um, so I hope you have found this idea of creating a file cabinet with the use of a Google Drive folder helpful. Um, but if you didn't, um, perhaps just having, you know, a running list of documents under a topic of year long course resources might work for you as well. So either way is worth experimenting with um, and um, is super useful for your students. So I hope again that this was helpful. Thanks for watching.